introduction to engineering design, 9.5 propeller for the airplane assembly. Here's your uh, dimension sheet that we're going to make look a little more professional on Inventor. Make it look like this. So how do you get to here? Well, the first thing you should do is open up a new standard IPT. And uh, we're always using the top numbers in inches. And this is uh, sketching a bunch of circles and arcs and using the tangent constraints to start out. So let's see what we can do. Uh, 2D sketch on the front. The first circle I would sketch right here on the origin. I believe it has a diameter of 7. And then you could sketch a larger circle. has a radius of 11, so the diameter is double 11, so the diameter is 22. So we're going to do another circle here. So we have two concentric circles. And then let's sketch over here on the left. I believe that the half circle over here has a radius of 7.5, so the diameter would be 15. Make sure you're on the uh, x-axis over here, and how far is this away? I believe it is half a hundred, so it is 50. And you might want to line these centers up horizontally like that. Use the horizontal constraint to make sure that this is exactly horizontal with that. Okay, now we're going to do an arc. If you look here, this arc bows that way at a radius of 60. So we're going to do two arcs, one over here and one below here. Let's see how that looks. I would draw it in a random space first. Let's try 60. And then I would draw this one down here. So it's not connected. So how's this going to look? We're going to use this tangent constraint here, geometric constraint. I want this arc tangent to that circle. 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 And then we're going to use extend. So we're going to extend this arc, this arc, this arc, that arc. So hopefully we have a closed shape here of half the propeller. Finish sketch. Uh, we're going to extrude everything by eight. This would be a good time to save. Maybe it's 9.5 propeller your name into your airplane folder. Good time to change the color. Let's have uh, some magenta. Oops. Magenta propeller. Now we want to mirror this. So we're going to create a plane offset from the YZ plane, zero. And then we're going to mirror, mirror all this over this plane. Hopefully this is right. All right. Looks all right. Then, this would be a good place to save. If we look at our propeller dimension sheet here, we have to fill it the edges. The radius is 3. So let's see how that looks. Fill it. Radius is 3. 
think we fill it all of that and all of that. This would be a good place to save. Um, your teacher does not grade these IPT files. Your teacher will grade title block files properly dimensioned. So you lay out the views. I think a 1 to 10 scale could be good. No, 1 to 20 scale. So that's the front, the top, the right, and the ISO. Remember, you want everything landing in the border. ISO view color. So after you lay out the views, uh, it'd be good to put some crosshairs in here. Oops. Not that one. Crosshair. This arc. This circle. This half circle. This half circle. You, you could center line that. And then this is where we start laying out our dimensions. So I believe the distance between the two half circles is 100. This arc is 60. I believe the distance between here and here is 8.84. I believe the extrusion is 8. Don't forget your four text boxes. It's top. Not everyone understands multi-view drawings, so it's good to communicate your We gotta get the fillet dimensions. Let's fill it a three. We have a hole down the center. This would be a hole in thread. Maybe one more fillet up here just to make sure we understand that the fillet has a radius of three. Okay, this would be a good time to save. 9.5 propeller, your name. When you are done, you export this to PDF formats. I would save this into your airplane folder so you know where it is. Your teacher does not help you find lost inventor files in laptop outer space or internet outer space. Then, when you are ready to submit, I believe you have a submit button here to submit your propeller. Great job.